It's a woman who completely recovered from cancer without medical treatment. And meet three women who scream for a living. They're the stars of B-movies. Now, here she is, Jenny Jones. Okay, picture this. You're a young director, big on talent, short on cash. You got a great script with heavy profits written all over it, if not on the big screen, then certainly on video. There's a little TNA, some blood and guts, lots of ear shattering screams. You've even got a catchy title and a killer video cover. All you need now is a star. Meryl Streep said no. <laughs> so who are you going to call? <laughs> My next guest. <laughs> They're the big stars of low-budget films, the Scream Queens. First, she's held the title of Queen of the B-Movies for years, but she's ready to hand over the crown. She starred in such classics as Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers, <laughs> Sorority Babes in the Slimeball Bolorama, <laughs> and Nightmare Sisters. I want to give you a bit part. What? <laughs> Here she is, reigning queen of the bees, Linnea Quigley. whistle for me. I don't know what it is. It's yes. the guys in the audience. Then a woman who's ready to step in as the new queen of the bees. She studied to be a marine biologist, but ended up starring in films like Slave Girls from Beyond Infinity, Slumber Party Massacre, and her latest video release, Haunting Fear. Father. Let's hail the new queen, Brink Stevens. Okay. Welcome. And finally, she's known as the scream queen who doesn't scream. She started a long list of bees, including Demon Warp, The Tomb, and her latest on video, The Dwelling. <laughs> Welcome, femme fatale, Michelle Bauer. Michelle? Welcome, Michelle. Okay. First of all, I love B-movies. I've been, I, I have always, it's just my favorite thing to do at night with popcorn and watch them. But how did you get, how did you get this title, Queen of the Bees? Well, I don't think any of us planned on getting it. It just kind of happened in Hollywood. You start off, you know, doing whatever work you can, like extra work. And they found out I was good at screaming and being scared. And that's really what got, I mean, that was the, the, the biggest thing that was important, was yes. to be able to scream. Yes, to, and to look frightened, because it's very hard. It's very hard to, like, look at nothing and be scared. I suppose the body had nothing to do with it. Is this, well, is this? okay, well, maybe that helped a bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, what, first of all, what, just in case anyone's not sure, what qualifies a movie to be, to be a B-movie? Maybe, uh, Brink, you can tell us that. It's the same as any other movie, except the budgets are lower and the shooting time is less. A lot of them are done in four days, six days, a week and a half, on budgets like $200,000, certainly under a million. Well, just so, so that we know the difference, what does a, a regular uh, A movie take? Well, Terminator 2, for example, costs Ooh. 90 million. Our movies cost less than one million, and they're done much quicker. And these other movies can take months to do? Yes. Okay. Uh, now, uh, I actually heard, I don't know if this is true, I actually heard that you can have, they can come up with a title first and not even have a story, and then they, is that true, Michelle, do you know? Yeah, well, for instance, the slime ball bolorama sorority babes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, no, believe it or not, this movie originally was titled The Imp. 
And then they come up with this incredibly long title, and they end up telling us through midst shooting that they're going to call it Sorority Babes at the Slimeball Bolorama. And we were all amazed. But it sells yeah. better. Yes. I mean, they sell oh, better sure. when they have titles sure. like that. The same with Slave Girls from Beyond Infinity. A director had thought up this title, and he walks into Empire Pictures and says, I've got a title. I want to make a movie. So he pitched them one paragraph verbally, and they said, fine, go ahead, oh, make God. a movie. <laughs> how, did you, how did you get it? You started to be a marine biologist? Yeah, I was in the what? doctorate program in marine biology. I was studying seals and dolphins, and uh, I just couldn't get a job in it. So I became an, ac uh, an actress completely by accident. I walked by the wrong door one day, and they saw me and put me in a movie the next day. Oh, it was the right door? Yeah, the right <laughs> door. <laughs> but I never planned on it. And Michelle, you were a model first, Yes, right? I was doing modeling. I was doing lingerie work, and the agent at the time had this great customer come in who was doing when the mud wrestling and oil wrestling was getting real big. And of course, I'm a clown. I'll crack jokes and do funny things. And he said, why don't you just give this a try? So I went to this mud wrestling, and they wanted us just to add these words. And here we made this fantastic oil wrestling tape that was so funny. He said, I'm going to send you out. You just got to go yeah. do this reading. And then I just started getting parts from there. It was totally unplanned. These are really popular. I, I, I have some things to show the audience. For instance, uh, this is the uh, Brink doll that's going to be coming out. I'm a you model can... kit. You know the kind you put together and paint? They've done a Brink model kit. Gee. <laughs> the, we have this. We have, like, these are like baseball trading cards, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I don't know if I can. Those are fun. I, don't, I won't be showing these. <laughs> yeah. you can, wanna, see. can we show? <laughs> well, this is not. This is okay. They're very, they're very sexy pictures, as you can. Well, I'll give you two Linnea Quigleys for a Michelle Bauer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've got. Uh, th this is the, the cover of a video. Mm -hmm. You have a, a, a zombie. Yeah, <laughs> work the scariest horror <laughs> workout ever made. Yes. Uh, you have magazines and and, uh, and like fan magazines, mugs. Mm -hmm. Very popular business. Why, why, why is it so popular? It's I think because we make it fun. It's you know you don't we, take it that we seriously. don't take it that serious. Yeah. We have it as like a fun thing, and people get into it. Like you said, you love B movies, and I do. I you know what I to. love the dying scenes. What, what's your favorite? Yes. What's the favorite way you've ever died in a movie? By probably by uh, being eaten by men. That was fun in mud. <laughs> oh, I'll second they that. They were zombies. Zombies. So. That's right. Zombies. Thank you. Thank you very much. Male zombies. I said it again. Okay. How, do you have a favorite way of it? I've been shot with guns, shot with arrows. I've had my throat slit with a razor blade. I was pulled apart by demons, had a hand grenade explode in my mouth. Do you have dying? Well, um, I had my heart ripped out, but I give my heart to Linnea, who chainsawed me right here. Oh, that was fun. That you was a nasty person, you. Oh, it's Well, great. when a typical day of work consists of throat slashing, tongue ripping, dissection, and, and uh, getting your heart ripped out, what kind of fan mail do you get? Find out in just a moment. If I... B-movie stars Linnea Quigley, Brink Stevens, and Michelle Bauer. And uh, what do you want to say? Oh, I just really enjoy the fact that you all have brains and you all have gone to school and that you're in this profession because you expect people like this to not be as intelligent. And I really think that's great. And what I noticed coming from a college campus that a lot of guys watch these movies, but they watch it purely for entertainment, like fun, because they think it's funny, too, like you were saying before. Oh, that's that's nice. You. That's Thank a nice compliment. Much. Yes. Um, now, well, let's talk about special effects and makeup. Uh, you know, I, I hear that it takes hours and hours and hours. Is it probably even more so for you because of all the scary things that, that you have to do? How long does it take you, Linnea? Well, one time it took 11 hours. I just wanted to, to go nuts. It took, you know, they put the pieces on and then they painted it and then I had contacts, lenses, and then another time they had to paint my whole body white in waterproof makeup. And you couldn't even go to the bathroom. I, well, I, I had to, I had an appliance on where I'd have to like raise my hand and have somebody go with me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Pretty embarrassing. You I, work with uh, terrific special effects too, don't you? Like you said, uh, uh, Brink, you said you had a hand grenade. Yeah. I think and... I'm the only actress that really likes a lot of the heavy makeup and the gore effects. I hide in closets and jump out and scare people when I have all my heavy makeup You on. like the makeup? Yeah, oh, I, I really would think do. it would be very uncomfortable, but I like to be turned into some hideous thing, like a demon or something. Yeah, you don't have to primp your hair or check your <laughs> lipstick when you got fangs and yellow eyes. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> okay, when you get a script, you're offered a script, say, what, what's the first thing you look for, Michelle? I look for the most wonderful way I can die. 
I look <laughs> for uh, the challenge of dying. I like to die different ways each time. No and pain, no gain. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get weird mail from people? Yes. I have one fan whom um, I'm not going to mention any names, but um, uh, writes poems and things. He thinks he's from the 15th century or something like that, mm. and he uses these words and describes your loveliness. Oh, that, that's nothing, Michelle. I got a letter <laughs> from a guy who says, Dear Brink, you may not believe this, but I'm actually a werewolf. In fact, my whole family are werewolves, and we'd really like to have you over for dinner some night. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I wrote back and I said, Well, we'd have a howling good time. Oh, <laughs> Do you get weird mail too, Linnea? I am real lucky. I have not got that many weird letters. Maybe after the show I will, but I don't know. I've been real lucky. All of them have been really good, and a lot of them support animal rights, which I'm into. So they're, they're very basic people. Are you a bee fan? Uh, yes, I am, but I was just wondering, how much money can you make in a low-budget film like this? Once you get going, you can make a lot of money. One, you know, once you get set up as like a uh, scream queen, you can make a lot of money. Well, Brink, you're actually producing, aren't you? Right. I've produced a video documentary series. I have a 900 phone line called the Horror Hotline where fans can call <laughs> up and meet each other. And when you get into the lateral kind of enterprise, you're not just an actress, but you go to conventions, you get a speaker's fee, you get to do different kinds of merchandising mm -hmm. like the model kit, then it really pays off. Do you get more money when there's nudity involved? Or is there always nudity? I mean... I do. <laughs> oh, oh, and she's gloating about it, too. So. Is it standard that, that it pays more if you have to be nude? For me, it does. Yes, absolutely. But yeah, it, then you don't have to do it as much. That's They're right. not going to pay. Mm -hmm. Then no. they tend to not want it so much. Yeah. Uh, who, somebody had a question about... Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, what was it? How do your, how do your parents feel about yeah. the movies that you make? Do you know, my mother loves it. I sent her Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers, and I sent her a T-shirt. And I'll call her, and she'll say, Honey, I'm wearing my Hollywood Chainsaw Hooker T-shirt right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mom. My parents have started to get used to the idea of it. At first, they were really in heavy denial that I had dropped out of graduate school and didn't finish my doctorate. But now, they're, now we go to restaurants, and my father will stop the waitress and go, You may recognize my daughter. She's been on TV. <laughs> I'm like, Dad, stop. Who's, ma who's married up here? You two are? Uh-huh. How does your... Well, Michelle, you do more nudity then. How does your husband feel? Um, he feels fine by it. He realizes it's an occupational hazard, and he's really in support of me. And I really have him to thank for a lot of the support he's given Is he in the business? Me. No. <laughs> uh -uh. I, Linnea, Linnea is married to someone yeah. in the business. You're, I couldn't do that. So you're, and he's okay with it, well, too? Well, yeah. I mean, the first time I met him, he put plaster all over my breasts. So... <laughs> And he fell in love. Yeah, he fell in love. I had to marry him after that. <laughs> and you won't tell us how much money you make. I mean, would you, do you make a lot of money? We make as much as a regular actor would, but the movies are shorter, so we don't work as long. Uh, what, what would be, because the titles are so great. Give us your favorite, what's your favorite movie that you've done, Michelle? Well, I have to go with Nightmare Sisters because we were all cast in that yeah. and we were all so nerdy in the beginning. Yeah. I was 250 pounds. She was a poindexter. And we may have both teeth and Real freckles. <laughs> and we did this great transition from nerd to voluptua and it was very funny. It had a lot of puns on other films we've done. And I just enjoy working with these two so much that it was just personally a favorite of mine. Do you tend to work with the same people a lot? Yeah, that it's the same which kind is great. Yeah. Yeah. We've yes. all worked together several times. It's who you know in the B-movie industry, I believe. We recommend each other for different things. Yeah. And, and like when Brink writes something, she'll write a part in for me or Linnea or all of us together. Who's the best screamer up here? Oh, I don't know. I would have to say. Brink and I are both. Yeah. Both? Yeah. 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 Well, we each have our own style. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but when we come back, we're going to have some lessons from the queens of screams themselves right after this. <laughs> scream queens we've talked about everything except the screaming so far and actually Michelle you said that you don't scream is there any reason why you don't no it's just happened that way it's a dirty job but somebody's <laughs> somebody. got it. and they have to do it right is there a real is there a trick is it just something that you just do and you do it right or did you have to learn it my first movie I had to scream for 45 minutes out in the parking lot into a tape recorder until we got the perfect scream and once I got it I, I knew how to do it then and they